So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, first article today. NVIDIA's crypto mining lawsuit takes a new turn. U.S. Supreme Court to hear the firm's plea. The U.S. Supreme Court is all set to hear NVIDIA on an investor lawsuit where the firm is allegedly blamed for misleading information regarding their business during the crypto mining era. Now, for those of you that were following this channel back then, I think, and a lot of the average consumers, one of the big benefits of GPU mining in general was that you had consumer grade hardware available to the public. But as you guys know, NVIDIA went backdoor on everybody and started selling the large GPU farms, bypassing, of course, any third party retailers and screwing us over just like Bitmain's been doing since their inception. So I'm a little upset about it too. Now, NVIDIA is set to face off investors who claim that the firm presented misleading financial data, which led to huge losses. For those who are unaware, back in 2019, a group of investors filed a class action lawsuit against NVIDIA, claiming that the firm was responsible for downplaying the importance of revenue stream from the crypto mining boom. Since GPU sales saw a massive surge at the time, NVIDIA associated with the demand from the gaming industry. However, that wasn't the case at all. We all know how devastating the crypto mining hype had on the GPU supply to consumers, but apparently Team Green hid this fact from investors, which is why they now face legal trouble. Now, from NVIDIA's perspective, one of the reasons this was done was because of the negative publicity surrounding crypto mining causing the shortages. And I think what they wanted to try to do was one of well, basically two things. I think one, they were trying to keep a good PR front so that the gamers would still be purchasing their GPUs for gaming and they didn't want to lose that market. But two, I think they also didn't want to tie themselves to the volatility of the cryptocurrency market and thereby, of course, causing their stock to crash when, of course, the inevitable crash of the cryptocurrency market happens. And that's just based off of the four-year cycle that I think anybody, even NVIDIA at this level, is probably fully aware of at this point. So that's probably why. Now, ethically, is that okay? No, but is it kind of understood that they're going to do what's best in their best interest from a PR perspective? I think that, well, yeah, probably. <clears throat> Reuters claims the Supre U.S. Supreme Court has agreed to listen to NVIDIA on the lawsuit to end the matter. The lawsuit is led by Stockholm, Sweden-based investment management firm e -Home, uh, Omen J or Fonder AB, and they demand an unspecified amount of compensation. They claim that with the most misleading revenue figures, investors faced losses through NVIDIA's inflated stock share pricing. Although the case was dismissed by the U.S. District Court in 2021, it came back to life in August of 2023 through the ninth U.S. Court circuit court of appeals well given that the lawsuit claims that nvidia framed its financial data it can prove to be a massive legal trouble for the firm which in recent days has managed to find a spot alongside apple and microsoft regarding market capitalization with the ai hype in play nvidia is now a much bigger firm than it was back in the time of the lawsuit filing so one might say the case would tarnish the firm's reputation among the site of investors it will be interesting to see how the lawsuit plays out given that the u.s supreme court has decided to hear nvidia's plea here and we'll keep you updated when we receive more developments. Of course, I'm going to be following this very closely because I think it will impact the uh, future of cryptocurrency mining on the GPU side of things here in the very near future. And I think what is being masked is basically cryptocurrency mining with AI. Everything that I've seen as far as all of my honeypots across Chlor AI and Vast AI, et cetera, are proving out to show that cryptocurrency is still alive and well on the GPU mining side and people are mining and doing some hash rate arbitrage that everybody is pretending not to know about. Even the kind of resellers of hash power, Vast AI, as well as Chlor AI, are kind of you know, trying to focus on this AI key terminology to boost their PR. But in fact, really what we're just witnessing is a lot of cryptocurrency mining still going on. In the future, though, it will be necessary for AI models that are not currently being trained to have some supplemental income. So I think 
even if we do get to the point of AI that AI models being trained, you know, globally or ubiquitously, we will still see compensation on the cryptocurrency mining side of things when those AI models are not being trained or individual GPUs within those systems are not being trained. Another thing, of course, here to point out is that there are a lot of failure rates that go on on the memory side of things with AI model training, like we discussed last week. Make sure you check out that particular segment on, of course, all the failures that Beta saw across all of their H100s. And when those GPUs do fail, it wouldn't be such a bad idea to repurpose them for cryptocurrency mining because you aren't necessarily needing to load up near as much memory on the crypto mining side as you do on the GPU mining side. So it could be a potential repurpose of these machines in the future as memory modules begin to fail from the AI models. It's something that I would predict here not too far away. Now, you guys mined during the bear market. You made it through, well, at least maybe a half of you. I know a lot of you motherfuckers over here didn't actually do it, but the ones that did, I have a new shirt for you guys. And it says, I mined with the bears for the bear market, okay? So if you mined with the bears and you want to rep that you did mine during the bear market, go ahead and head on over to shop.sonofatech.com and the listing will be down below. I'll put it in live chat right now. I have a sweatshirt, there's a sticker, if you'd rather have a sticker, t-shirt, premium shirt, all that cool, cool stuff. Um, really like the new shirt. I ordered a few for myself, and I just had that design finished this week. Eventually, it'll be under on the YouTube channel, but that takes a little bit of time, so just give it some time. Uh, proceeds, of course, go to supporting me in the channel, so there you go. And I thought uh, we put some work into it and I thought you guys might enjoy it.